Hello guys and welcome to my new video and today we're going to be talking about how to get the cooldown timers in raid, when to use them, get the visual notes or basically do you want your screen to look somewhat like this. Invoke GG, the red crane soon. In mind, GG, the red crane now. I made a similar video to this a while back, but honestly, the amount of questions I get about this right now is insane. So I wanted to make a separate video just to showcase how to do this. Now, the way that I'm going to show you requires two different things. It requires weak chorus add-on and it requires another add-on called method raid tools. You can type in forward slash MRT to open it. And this is the method raid tools. Now, there's multiple ways of achieving this. You technically don't need weak chorus to do it. You could actually use the reminders feature. There's also other add-ons that can achieve this, but I feel... The way I'm going to show you is somewhat popular and relatively easy to pick up. So first of all, install method raid tools, install weak orders, open the notes section, make sure it's enabled. And now what we need to do is find the timers that you want to use based on your spec, based on which boss you're doing, based on the difficulty. And this is where it brings us to the Lorg's website. This website has picked up immensely in terms of popularity. It's not only used for healers, it's used for every spec in the game in order to try and see what the top players are doing in terms of the timer so for example if i'm looking at mystery or monkey again it just depends on the spec you're playing if i'm looking at mystery or monkey you don't have to look at just mythic you can go to heroic but i'm gonna look at something like let's say one arm bandit and i want to decide when to use my cooldowns and you can see here that a lot of mystery or monks whether they're playing gg or whether they're playing yulon they're using the cooldowns around 38 seconds they're using revival at 130 so you can kind of get the gist of the cooldown usage now you can not filter out different things for example it is buggy a little bit at times i don't want touch of death to be shown i want for example celestial condio to be shown so i can see where people are using it maybe if you're doing a boss that requires extreme survivability or coordination in order to survive it you can actually start looking at some of the defensives how people are using their fortifying brew how they're using diffuse magic and you can actually copy that as well, which I've done in the past for bosses that were re really extremely healing intense. And then after this, you just pick out a log that kind of represents what most misviewers are doing. And in my example, let's say I'm playing Yulon, I'm going to copy something like this. I'm going to click on the little icon here. This is going to bring the note. Make sure you type in your name exactly as it is. And then you can just click on this here and it's going to copy it. Now, there is a notification here. Blind copying, pasting timings does not guarantee the same results, which is absolutely true. It is dependent on your kill times. It is dependent on your comp. And we'll cover that a little bit later on. So now go back to the game. Once we're back in the game, we need to open method raid tools. So forward slash MRT. And I'm going to show you the difference between the note and personal note. So first of all, the note is most likely going to be sent by the raid leader. It's going to do something like with interrupt order, maybe the spell order. It might not have anything to do with healing cooldowns. And that's perfectly fine because we're going to use the personal note section to save a bunch of different cooldowns for different bosses that we can actually load every time we do that boss and those cooldowns are going to appear. So we're going to add a separate note. And again, in this case, we're going to do it for one arm bandit. We're going to control V to paste the code that we got from Lorgs. And then we're going to set as personal note. And what this is going to do is going to load this cooldowns into the personal note section. So you can see it right here, set as a personal note. And now my personal note is this. And you can see here that personal note has been loaded on the left hand side. And it shows the cooldown for different of my abilities, the timings and all those things. Another thing you can do, which I haven't tested personally and I want to kind of check it out. But you can see here there is an auto load before boss feature so what you do is you go back to the settings and the settings is going to be very important because you also want to tick hide lines with timers but without my name this is going to clean up a lot of different things also i have things selected in terms of how to hide outside of party show me only in raid but obviously i don't have that set up for this video because i want you to see the notes by themselves and then you can see this auto load before boss which you can take and then tick use auto load for personal note so technically I haven't tested this myself, but theoretically speaking, if you make notes for every single bosses, if you select the bosses here, these should load when you enter the boss and you should get different notes for all the different bosses and it's going to be not, you're going to have notifications automatically loaded. I have not tested this myself. I'm not sure if it's flawless. Maybe there's bugs to it. Let me know if you try it out. And again, if you don't want to use the auto load feature, maybe it's not working all that well. I don't know. I haven't tested it. But for example, you're doing one unbounded. You can set that as a personal note. 
if you're doing for example lock and stock i have a different note for this and again we did the same thing we copied the note from lorgs we copied it in a new section again i could change this to load for lock and stock instead but all you have to do is set as a personal note and you look at the left hand side the cooldowns change and i play a different build for lock and stock so i have different notes as well so that's something that you can save notes for every single boss and you can either load them manually or try the auto load feature so now that we have the actual cooldown timers from lord's website we have imported them in method raid tools and we have them as a personal note we need the visual notifications we need the audio notifications and case we core is going to do that now i'm assuming this is the original case we core it kind of showcases the icon of the spell that you need to use and this is the edit of that and it showcases the icon and the bar so whichever option you want to go with i'm gonna try and link everything in the description below for again easy way to access this whichever you want to use you click on it you copy the import string and you go back into the game once you're back in the game you need to open week or so forward slash w a i'm assuming you already imported your week or you can click on import control v to paste the code for whichever week or you chose for example in this case i chose the text or the bar option because i think it's, it looks pretty cool so it is important to go into the custom options you click on the week or you import it you go into custom options and there are a couple of things that you can change around in terms of the duration in terms of when text to speech should be played you can change the timers and things like that if you want a longer notification it really depends these are the settings that i'm using right now and they seem to work fine and basically they're going to read your note from right here it's going to give you a visual notification a voice notification and it's it should help immensely and before i move on to the next section i do have to tell you that there are multiple ways of doing this without actually using week or i already talked about the fact that there are reminders in this add-on where you can actually set for example the timeline here you can select the boss that you're doing right now we can select for example one arm bandit mythic and you can see here the different abilities and you can actually import from node so there are other ways of doing this but i feel like a lot of people and there are other add-ons in terms of doing this i know liquid has an add-on for this as well but i feel like a lot of people do tend to use the note section of mrt or method rate tools and this leads to the next section of this might work well if you're trying to copy the notes from the most well-performing specs that you're playing but what happens if you're a raid leader and you're trying to create a note for the comp that you're doing you don't want people to use the cooldowns at the same time so this section is going to appeal to the, again, healing officers, raid leaders, or just trying to optimize the notes for your comp. And for this section, we're going to go back to Lorgs again, because they do have top reports by comp, which is a little bit buggy, but it does provide a lot of good information. So for example, you might have a comp with double misweaver, which is extremely popular in high-end mythic rating because misweavers are doing really well again. But let's say you have double misweaver. You could actually input the exact comp you have. Maybe you have one Resto Druid. Maybe you have one Discipline Priest. For simplicity's sake, I'm just going to put double misweaver and see how they're using cooldowns on something like one arm bandit. Now we can click search. And again, you can see there's a little bit additional information in terms of tanks, in terms of some of the DPS. You kind of need to look past that. But you can see that the first log here, this is actually the four healing fight for one arm bandit in terms of mythic. And they're actually using discipline, double misweaver, and Resto Druid. And you can see here, the double misweavers are running GG build. The first one is using the cooldowns a little bit faster. The other one is delaying it a little bit. You can see the second log in terms of double misweaver discipline priest. This is three healing fight or three healing log. You can see both of the misweavers are using Yulon and one of them is using them faster. The other one is delaying it a little bit. And you can go through these logs and see how different teams are using them depending on the healing comp you're doing. And you can do the same thing. You can actually copy this and send this note to your discord or to your raiders and they can input that as a personal note so this is how a lot of people might actually handle again healing assignments there are other tools out there believe me there are a lot of tools i just think this is very simplistic very easy to kind of pick up for the initial time and this kind of concludes the whole video i really want to know your opinion about if i missed out on something i'm fully aware there are a lot of tools to help you manage cooldowns I think this is very simple, very easy. You just basically look at what other people are using and you copy it. Let me know how you feel about the MRT add-on in terms of the auto load, because like I mentioned throughout the video, I haven't really tested the auto load feature myself. Healing cooldowns, raid cooldowns. This is not applicable to only healers. It can be used for DPS and all those things. So keep that in mind. You can actually optimize multiple different aspects. This is a great website. There's great add-ons that I mentioned here. 
Let me know if I missed out on something. Let me know if you found a tool that is better. Write in the comments, help out the community, and I'll see you in my next video.